to make a four-door version of it. Now, obviously, I had to go somewhere appropriate to test it. So, of course, I went to Dubai. This is it. It's called the Flying Spur. And there's a good reason why I brought it to the Arab Emirates. It just sort of feels right. These days, everything about Bentley is new. It's got a new owner, VW, and you can forget all that scruffy toffs in their tweed jackets nonsense because... Bentleys are bought with new money. And that's why it seemed right to bring it here. I mean, it wasn't so long ago that this was a desert wilderness, but now look at it. I've got shirts older than this city. But there's another good reason for coming here.
Continental GT can reach that sort of speed, but in that car, it's sort of no big deal. Yet somehow, when you do it in this stately, grown-up four-door saloon, it feels more thrilling and outrageous. And that's how it should be in a Bentley. It's funny what a difference a few changes can make. Two doors and a GT badge, this car just doesn't quite stack up. But double the number of doors, it sort the ride out. Some straight line speed suddenly makes sense. What you're left with is an exquisitely made luxury saloon that, in the blink of an eye, can turn into a monster. And that makes the flying spur feel like a proper Bentley. piece of styling I've ever seen. It has no presence. No, I have to say, right, the thing is they've made it feel like a Bentley, but it looks as though it was designed by a Belgian. Well, it was designed by a Belgian. Oh, yeah. And the funny thing is, is that for £45,000 less, you can have a VW Phaeton, which has got the same basic engine, same four-wheel drive system. That is a really cool car.